Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Techie Code Buddy. I hope you are doing extremely well. Well, guys, you were requesting me to make some cheat sheet for verbal ability section as you guys are facing the problems with vocabulary part in verbal ability and you are preparing for a placement like Exchange, TCS, Bipro, etc. Right. So first, understand what's the reason behind this? Uh, like why you are facing the problems in vocabulary section? See, usually what happens is we are humans and we usually avoid reading, reading articles, reading newspaper, reading editorials and to avoid these things is the main reason that you are lacking with words in your mind, right? But anyways, I have made three cheat sheets for your vocabulary part, right? So that you can clear your exam. After analyzing so many papers of placement, TCS, Bipro, Accenture, Capgemini, LTI, Mindtree and all the others, I have made three cheat sheet. In the first cheat sheet, what I did is I have once 300 plus words that are previously asked in somewhere in placement exams along with their meaning, along with their sentence use, right? And in the next cheat sheet, what I did is I have once a particular word, its antonym, its synonym and the use of sentences, right? And the third cheat sheet is quite interesting and it is specifically designed for one word substitution, right? And it is divided in four parts. First is study of something. The next is doctor of something. The third is phobia of something. And the fourth is love of something. For example, first is study of something. Suppose study of animals. It is called zoology. In a similar function, I have bunched up 20 to 25 studies uh, what whatever is the important for your placements right the next is doctor of something for example doctor of females is called gynecologist the third is phobia of something right uh, somebody has a hydrophobia which is called water phobia if someone is uh, fear about water fear to water right uh, the next is love of something like someone who is a lover of books so it is called bibliophile so this is how i have once 15 to 20 one word substitution related to each part right i hope these cheat sheets are going to be helpful for you now let's have a look on these cheat sheets and in the end of the video i will tell you how you can access these cheat sheets for free only right I hope the video will be helpful for you in your all placement exam, not only for Exchange. All right, so let's have a look on the cheat sheets now. Okay, so first of all, let's have a look on my channel that there are several videos related to Exchanger. So you will have the idea that yes, I have the complete idea about the paper pattern and the videos about like thesis and like all the placement material is available here. So I have the idea that, okay, what type of questions they can ask from the verbal ability, they can ask from the vocabulary part, right? So, okay, let's have a look on these all three cheat sheets. Okay, so the very first cheat sheet is all about, just let me take the pen. The very first cheat sheet is all about important vocabulary list of 300 plus words. So what I did is, first of all, the all words will be related to A only. Then if I scroll down, just a minute. If I scroll down, so you can see that there are 15 words related to A. And these all are the important words only, right? Then B. And this benevolent word was last year asked, right? It was asked last year. And the next is C from this C, you can see. And this convoluted was asked in TCS, I remember it. And cultivate is also asked in somewhere, I guess in Infosys or some exam. And from D, this Depth. Yes, it was asked in Accenture only. Last year, I guess it was asked in uh, from E, there are 15 words from F, there are 15 words from G, from S. You can have a look on this and don't worry about the cheat sheet. I will give you for free only. You can access from the drive or you can access from the Telegram group. But once the video reaches 500 views, right, then it will be available for you. All right, so let's move on to the next cheat sheet. So this is same for like till Z. There are for Z there are ten words only because these ten words are important for Y itself. And till X there are fifteen fifteen words, and for Y and Z there are ten and ten. All right, so let's move on to the next antonym and synonym PDF. So see, 
first of all we will see the word starting from a then what is the meaning of it then what is the synonym of it right so there are two or three synonyms for each and every word then antonym so it is nothing but it is just increasing your vocabulary only right so with the help of one word you will have four more words right or i can say eight more words because parallelly you are uh, remembering synonyms and endonyms and see guys this is a time taking process again and again you have to revise these things with the first go it cannot be stuck in your mind yes it is harsh truth for vocabulary because it's a time taking process you have to revise it again and again so don't make hurry just what you did is uh, what you have to do is just uh, like 10 to 15 words you uh, you memorize day by day and just next day you have to revise these then this is how you can increase your vocabulary and start to read newspaper you can read newspaper like if you are interested in sports so you can read the only sports newspaper right only two or three papers or if you like comics if you like novels you can go through with all until and unless you are not reading something your vocabulary uh, stuff will be quite less in your mind only right so from here you can see like from f from g from h etc this is the complete cheat sheet till y right so you can see that every time we are having the synonym antonym and the sentence use of synonym and then the sentence use of antonym so i hope it is clear now now let's move on to the third cheat sheet which is quite interesting so one word substitution vocabulary cheat sheet for vocabulary so one word for different studies as i have told in the introduction right so anthropology study of humans archaeology study of ancient cultures through artifacts astrology study of celestial bodies influence on human affairs etc then from we biology study of living organisms botany study of plants cardiology study of heart etc then from c from d from e f g h i then l m n o p all the important studies are listed here there are uh, 41 studies which are important for your placements exam right the next is one word for fear of x y z so acrophobia fear of heights which i don't have okay fear of cats uh, fear of flowers fear of water uh, fear of water is also called as hydrophobia here it is aquaphobia and it is also called as hydrophobia right fear of uh, fear of spiders which i have yes uh, fear of ugliness fear of mirrors fear of colors fear of dogs again i have okay fear of blood fear of reptiles see some fears are quite just fear of blood what what it is blood blood is hemoglobin so it is hemophobia some words are related to the scientific words only right hydrophobia fear of water okay so let's move on to the so uh, this is how these are 50 fears i have listed here and the next is one word for doctor of xyz so cardiologist is a doctor of heart dermatologist is a doctor of skin and then gynecologist doctor of female reproductive system hematologist doctor of blood and blood disorders nephrologist doctor of kidney and so and so right so this is how there are uh, 45 doctors listed here doctor of something right Uh, not forty-five. There are fifty doctors listed here. Now one word for disease. Disease as well. Okay. So infection. What it is? Infection. Allergy. Auto immunity. Uh, auto immunity. This is not so important. But if you have time, you can go through with this. Right. These. Ah. Uh, these are the type of epidemics. Right. The next thing is. one word for lover of xyz so bibliophile lover of books i am the bibliophile right so the next is technophile lover of technology all the cs persons are technophile only right so astrophile lover of stars and astronomy chocophile lover of chocolate i am okay the next is uh, heliophile lover of sunlight uh, videophile lover of high quality video and films all of these uh, gen z generation is videophile only right and this is how you can uh, have a look like there are 51 words again for lover of some right so these all are the important enough 
for your placements if you uh, if you cover all these three cheat sheets then you can easily hit the vocabulary part in your verbal ability right the next video will be about how you can ease the reading comprehension because the uh, most uh, facing problem areas are these only reading comprehension and vocabulary and verbal ability so i will focus on that particular as well in the next video okay so let's meet in the next video till then bye bye and take care and ha huh, from where you can access these cheat sheets from the telegram group the link is given in the description box or from the drive itself right i have added all the free resources available on the drive the link is given in the description box so do check or else you can uh, ask me in the comment section i will directly give you the link okay but if you, uh, if i am unable to reply you as soon as possible and you are in need so what you can do is just check the description box you will have the access okay all right so we will next in the, so we will meet in the next video till then bye bye and take care